Fire ants like to build towers, and they're good at it. In nature, they use rafts and towers to escape floods. At Georgia Tech, they use them to escape David Hu's laboratory. To his co-workers' dismay. Well, I'm infamous for being the most hated professor in the biology department. Their towers look a lot like somebody named Eiffel designed them. They have a wide, strong base, so lots of ants support the weight above. One ant holds up the weight of at most three other ants. And don't worry about the ones on the bottom. Ants they breathe through little holes all across their body, so they can actually breathe like fish. In real time, the process looks random because it is. But there are rules, as David Hu recently discovered. The first rule of ant tower building is to wander aimlessly, skyward. Then, when you find an ant that isn't moving, become a brick. Stick to your buddy. Literally, use your sticky feet. Sooner or later, the ants form a ring. Eventually, there's another ring. And this process goes on and on until they've built something that's 20 stories tall. There's a lot of trial and error. The ant towers are always being rebuilt. You can see the constant motion in this x-ray footage. As ants fall, they escape through tunnels in the tower's base and head straight back up. These rules of ant tower building might be useful to engineers to program swarms of tiny robots to build their own towers or something. The possibilities are limitless.